We're a student-run, student-led team. We do all of our own designs. So, really simply, we build electric race cars. It's really, uh, really fun. Braden Hampson is a senior at Portland State and the electrical lead for Viking Motorsports. It's something that makes our temperature sensors readable so that we can monitor our battery temperatures and make sure that it's safe. In June, they'll head to Michigan International Speedway to compete in a Formula SAE event, this year with an electric race car. The design approved by Tesla in order to qualify. This video is from a track day in Portland with one of their gas-powered vehicles. And they're judging competitions where professionals from the industry come in and they look at your cars and they judge you based on the quality of your designs. But the travel, entry fee, not to mention vehicle, all cost money. Without an abundance of funds, international partnerships, and a larger team size like some other programs, it's all on them. Other teams that have more budget, they can use pre-built modules, um, which simplifies the process, but you have less control. So it's, it's cool that we get to build our own, but it's also more difficult. It's a lot more work. It's entirely our own design and our own engineering ability at work. Senior Oliver Merton is a suspension design lead. Last year, they built their car in a team member's front yard using more budget-friendly parts. They're hoping for more sponsorships, and they're even selling old internal combustion parts to raise money. But to these guys, finishing first is less important than the process to get there. The goal of the car as a project is to build students, and as an undergraduate team, we hope to uh, give everybody the best opportunity to learn, and learn from mistakes especially. The people who have been on our team and have graduated, um, they are pretty much immediately hired into some pretty awesome positions. And every single person I talk to cites that this club was the reason they got their job, or a, a major factor. In Portland, John Goodwin, KGW News.